This is the Iowa Weather Report for Monday, March 3rd, 2014. And now our first look at the Zero Z GFS model run. This is at noon today. We still have, well, we pretty much have a zonal flow across the country, although a lot of the cold air is still in place across quite a bit of the country. The short wave is off to our east. That'll be producing some pretty heavy snows across the mid-Atlantic around Washington, D.C., up to Philadelphia and south of New York, and rain down in the south and east. Around here, high pressure overhead. Temperatures today in the single digits and teens for highs. And a little bit more snow comes in very late tonight into Tuesday, and then again Tuesday afternoon into Wednesday. And this will be bringing the temperatures up slowly, teens and lower to middle 20s here on Tuesday. And then about the same, about 20s on Wednesday with some snow around. We could see some accumulation with the Tuesday night into Wednesday system. Maybe an inch or two we'll be able to fine tune that as we get closer. A warm front comes in here on Thursday. That could trigger a few flurries across the far northern counties. Otherwise, winds turn southwesterly. Temperatures rise to the 20s northeast to maybe low to mid 40s south and west, depending on snow cover. Friday, a cold front comes in. That could bring maybe a little bit of isolated uh, precipitation around. With readings still mainly in the mid to upper 20s north to near 40 south. And then the cold air is back statewide for Saturday. High pressure noses in. That could drop temperatures into the teens and 20s once again. As could see some snow in the eastern Great Lakes and some rain in the south. And that high pressure begins to move away here on Sunday. Sunday morning could be quite chilly. With temperatures Sunday during the day, maybe back into the 20s to 30s to maybe near 40 from northeast to south and west. And you can see a week from today, the flow is still fairly zonal across the country. There's some energy over south Texas and also across the northern tier of the country. And with that, we could see maybe a system drop in that could bring us some rain and or snow with the 540 line pretty close to the Iowa-Minnesota border. So we'll have to wait and see about that in future model runs. Going into the extended period on March the 14th, we have some energy moving through the middle part of the country as the flow is still a little bit zonal, a little bit of a trough, a broad trough over the east. With that, that could keep temperatures maybe a skosh cooler than average, maybe in the around 30 degree range or so with some rain and or snow, but that looks mainly like snow, but we'll have to wait and see when we get a few more days out if this continues. The end of the forecast on March the 18th, we have a short wave over the south and west. We have an upper level feature off the Atlantic coast moving away. And with that, as flow out of the south and west, that's going to warm us up, maybe into the 30s and 40s if this is right. Any precipitation would be just to our north and then off to our west, but we still have over two weeks to look at this in the coming days and weeks. So, Satellite image from last evening, we had the one storm system moving over the middle of the part of the country, the upper level low over Oklahoma, some showers and thunderstorms across the Ohio Rav River Valley into the Mississippi River Valley, some of that in the form of some freezing rain and sleet. And you can see that by the watch warning map from last evening. Winter storm warnings from Kansas and Oklahoma eastward across into the mid-Atlantic, wind chill advisories across the northern tier of the country, and some winter weather issues across the northern Rockies and Pacific Northwest, and that's where there's going to be a lot of precipitation over the next five days through Friday evening at 6 o'clock, showing a little bit around here, maybe a tenth to two tenths, heaviest over the north and west, and over the southeast as well.